fat women. Now, I ain't gonna try to body shame throughout this video. If your stomach so big that it fits in your pants, no fucking wonder you can't find clothes that fit you. Back with another video. Before we get to it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Turn on post notifications, share this video. Today, we got this fucking, uh, these tweets. These tweets is from this girl called the Fat Feb Feminist. And I'm not new to her or anything. I've seen her shit before. Like, I, it's this YouTuber I've subscribed to. Her name is uh, Michelle McDaniel. Well, her her YouTube name is My Thoughts Will Probably Offend You. But her, uh, that's her real name. But uh, So she made a video about the Fat Feb Feminist a while ago. So I kind of already knew who she was. But I just had to talk about these tweets, bro. I, I'm sorry. So the tweets, uh, y'all see it on the screen. The tweets basically talk about how, oh, we can't. Fat women can is fat women. Let me let me make that clear. Fat women. Because I ain't seen a single nigga complain about this. But fat women can't find clothes that fit them. What's wrong? This is wrong in the fashion industry and all that shit. Now I ain't gonna try to body shame throughout this video. But here's a picture of what she looks like, bro. If your stomach so big that it fits in your pants i'm sorry but it's no fucking wonder you can't find clothes that fit you you're too fucking big bro like guarantee guarantee over 300 pounds bro. <laughs> i mean that gotta be a guarantee i ain't seen a motherfucker with a stomach that big less than 300 hell no nah, it's, it's going into your pants Shit. Ain't ain't no fuck ain't no fucking way, boy. Like for real, bro. No. Like it's no wonder clothes don't fit you. And like I said before, you haven't seen a single man say this. I ain't never seen no dude be like, Oh, the fashion industry, it's just not fair. I can't find any clothes that fit me. There should be clothes that fit fat bodies too. I ain't never seen a dude say that, bro. Not a not a straight one at least. I, I saw a dude one time complain about how he broke a chair uh when he was sitting down in public. Like nigga. You like 400 pounds. I'm not surprised. <laughs> what the fuck? Bruh, I don't get what's up with fat people thinking that shit should accommodate their fat ass body. Bro, when I go to amusement parks, like for example, I'm from Ohio, so we got Cedar Point. When I'm at Cedar Point, I be on them rides uncomfortable than a motherfucker, nigga. I'm 6'3". My knees up against the shit when I'm riding. It's really uncomfortable. But what am I going to... Cedar Point, you should make amusement rides that accommodate people that are six three fuck no i can't say that shit they're gonna look at me like what are you talking about because you know why most people are not six three shit most motherfuckers ain't even six feet so how the fuck could i get mad at them for not making a ride that doesn't accommodate my height now granted most people in the united states are overweight or obese but when it comes to the fashion industry, most motherfuckers buying and wearing their shit ain't obese, bro. So they can't accommodate to people that's not buying their stuff. Like, what the fuck? Why would they do that? And plus, it costs more money to make bigger clothes. Unless you're going to give them that money. I mean, you, you ain't nothing you can do. Plus, the thing is, if you want to fit in more clothes, all you got to do is lose weight. Perfect solution. You know what I'm saying? Just like I did in this video. But nah, all you got to do is lose weight. If... I'm uncomfortable on them Cedar Point rides. What I'm gonna do? Shrink? Nigga, I ain't shit I can do about my height. But like, it would be stupid because like, most people are like, most men are like 5'9", five, 5'8". Five, most women are like 5'4", five, 5'5". Five, five. What I'm gonna get mad at them for not making rides that accommodate my tall ass? No. Just like you can't get mad at the fashion industry for making clothes that accommodate their fucking customers. Like, what are you saying? All right. I'm adding this in. Hopefully, it flow right with the video. But this is like probably like a week later, maybe even two. Uh, I was at a Cavs game. Now, mind you, I'm 6'3". Now, whether you believe that or not is up to you. So, we sitting in the seats, right? And like, bruh, my knees like smacking the wall. Like, really uncomfortable type shit. And you know what I could have did? I could have been like, oh my God, at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse make more accommodating seats to people over six foot three like but i it just wouldn't make sense for me to do that like i said bro average height for men in america is like five nine average height for women is like five four so you got an average height of motherfuckers that's five nine or less why the fuck would they make shit accommodate to niggas that's six three when like fucking 10 percent of the population six well actually no i think like i think it's like 14 percent is like six feet let me look at that 14 percent of people 
people are six feet and taller. That's just all people, right? Or, well, that's men, like 1% of women, but 14% of men are six feet and taller. So that mean like 6'3 and up gotta be less than 10. So why the fuck would Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse make seats accommodating to niggas that's less than 10% of the population? That wouldn't make sense. You would have, you have all these niggas sitting down in fucking gigantic seats. Like, bro, my sister next to me, obviously way shorter than me. She was chilling in them seats, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like, bro, like, that's why they don't make fucking clothes for fat motherfuckers, for big ass motherfuckers. Cause that's not the biggest percent of people buying they shit. But the thing is, you can change that, bro. You wanna fit some clothes? You can lose weight. If I wanted to fit in them damn seats, I can't shrink. Like, I don't fucking get it. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit it with a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Turn on post notifications, share this video. Thank you for all the support. I'm out though.